we have one subject for one hour. After that, the second teacher comes in, the second subject is taken care of. The third teacher comes in, the third subject is taken care of. Then the fourth one, and afterwards, in case of engineering, there are practicals. All these four subjects and the practical may not have some connection. So, in most of the cases, it has been observed that the students are to some extent are in a confused stage. So instead of going, instead of the learning happening, he is just grasping things for some time and then never has an opportunity to apply, gain knowledge to a particular field or a project or something which he desires in life. Originative facile approach, which we call it as OFA, helps students understand things in detail on the same day itself. For teachers, it is a boon because all the 20 students are resources for learning. Because in the mid two hours and the last two hours, it is the teacher who gains tremendous knowledge and some thought processes which are totally virgin, which are never thought of, come into light. And these small thoughts germinate into an idea which will be useful to the society. And this goes on per topic till all the topics are covered. And it has been observed that once the student understands the thing through listening to the teacher, visualizing or seeing the teacher and then doing it in the second slot with his own hands, all the three learning styles, visual, auditory and kinesthetic are met. It is said that learning happens when the student is able to explain things on his own. This happens in the last two slots because it is related to competition. It is also related to development. It is also related to putting your own ideas in simple words so that people can understand. Now this process of learning and teaching helps a student to be wholesome in that particular topic on that particular day. It goes into his you may say permanent memory. So at any moment or at any situation, he is able to apply whatever he has learned. And that is the very purpose of education. It is not that he just learns, gives examination, takes a degree. It is basically it starts after that. Whenever he has learned a topic, he has thought about it, he has tried to apply it somewhere, he has tried to analyze it, has trying to think how it is useful to the society and then goes in for getting an innovative design, getting an innovative product or applying it for the betterment of humanity. So, originative facile approach which is a new simple approach to learning is full concentration to the student learning outcomes by giving him or her time for assimilating whatever he has learned into us. And friends, it's very easily possible in the given setup as per the university syllabi and as per the structure which is given by the university. We have tried this as a pilot project in one of our institutes and the results were fantastic. Students used to wait even after college hours discussing on the problems and they have come out with beautiful projects and have become confident of answering things and presenting their things the way they would like to have. This is the greatest achievement which we have found in this teaching learning process. So friends, 
if you want to learn, we need to change our style of teaching and learning. We have found that OFA works in a very systematic and healthy manner. It is, in fact, addressing all the attributes, graduate attributes, and also the program outcomes which are normally required for any accreditation agency. More than that, it makes or turns out a human being who can think, who can observe and act. Those who observe, think and act are the people who are successful in their careers. And we are trying to make these successful men in by using this OFA method. Thank you.